Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're at the K-Way factory in the product testing lab. Here we test all of our incoming products and fabric to make sure that they meet the highest quality standards so that they can withstand the worst weather conditions. The types of testing we do varies on the product category that we're looking at. Today we're going to be looking at foul weather. So there's six different tests that we will do. The first of which we're going to concentrate on is tensile strength, where we take a strip of fabric, cut to a specific size, have it clamped in the machine, and the machine keeps pulling it and pulling it until it eventually snaps. The reason why this test is relevant is so that we can see how strong the fabric is. The second test we'll be looking at is lamination strength. Most of our foul weather gear are three layers of fabrics laminated together. How we do this test is we separate two of these layers, clamp them in the tensile testing machine, and tear the fabric, and we measure how strong that resistance is to tearing. A strong lamination strength gives your foul weather products a longer lifetime. The third test we'll be looking at is color fastens to heat, where we cut a piece of fabric and place it between adjacent white fabrics. We then place this fabric sandwich inside of the testing machine. The testing machine has two heated plates at 160 degrees each. These plates press on the fabric for 30 seconds. Then we take the fabric out. We see how much it has stained the white fabrics and we compare it to the original sample for any color change. The fourth test we'll be looking at today is color fastness to washing, where we cut a strip of fabric and a multi-fiber strip containing a couple of different polymers for different types of materials. We put both of these into a pod with detergent and water, and we put them in the rotary washing machine at 60 degrees, washing it for 40 minutes. The result from this is a stained multi-fiber strip that would simulate the level of staining that would happen in a normal laundry cycle. The fifth test that we'll be looking at is water vapor permeability. How we do this is by measuring the amount of water vapor that can pass through the fabric for a specific size of area. We do this by placing a piece of fabric in a lid that has a area cut out that has been measured. We then take a cup of water with a specific amount of water measured out into it and place the lid on the cup, thereby sealing in the water vapor. We put this cup with water into an incubator at 36 degrees for four hours. We test the water vapor permeability to ensure that our fabrics don't feel clammy on your skin and so that water vapor generated by your skin can escape through the fabric. The sixth test that we'll be looking at today is water head testing. This is the level of water resistance given by the fabric. To do these tests, we place the fabric in the water head testing machine and we pressurize a water column against the fabric and we check if any water leaks through to the surface of the fabric. The reason we do this is to see the level of water resistance that the fabrics have. We pride ourselves on our high quality and we do all these performance tests so you can perform at your best. 